The vertebral column, or your spine, is an S-shaped structure that contains 26 vertebrae, all of which are stacked on top of each other like building blocks. The unique S-shaped curve gives the spine its strength and ability to move. When talking about the spine and its individual vertebrae, we make reference to its different sections. Let's explore that now. The top section, or the most superior, is called the cervical spine and consists of seven vertebrae, C1 through to C7. This makes up the neck region. It is important to note that when talking about vertebrae, we often refer to its number in the relevant section. So C1 is the first cervical vertebrae at the base of the skull. You will see that this section has an inward or a concave curve, which is known as a lordotic curve. The thoracic section, or upper back, consists of 12 vertebrae, so T1 through to T12, and has an outward or convex curve. This is called a kyphosis. Moving down, we have the lumbar region, and it consists of five big vertebrae, L1 through to L5. Like the cervical region, it also has a lordotic curve. The lower section has five fused vertebrae and is called the sacrum. The next section is called the coccyx, which contains four fused vertebrae, and you may know this as being called the tailbone. The sacrum and coccyx have a kyphotic curve, just like the thoracic spine. So, to recap, we have the cervical spine, C1 through to C7, the thoracic spine, T1 through to T12, the lumbar spine, L1 to L5, and the fused sections of the sacrum and the coccyx. Another easy way to remember the number of vertebrae in each section is to remember this. We have breakfast at 7am, which makes reference to the cervical region, lunch at 12, meaning the thoracic region, and dinner at 5, referring to the lumbar region.